fellow language learning nerds, how are you doing? Welcome to another video in my little series that I call my Japanese uh, bookshelf. Uh, basically each video I take one of the Japanese themed books from my shelf and introduce you to it. Now it can be a book that's just straight up written in Japanese or it can be a book on learning Japanese. Uh, I try to switch up every now and again. <laughs> Today's video, the plan was to introduce you to uh, this little one. You might have seen them on the bookshops around or online. Uh, it's just a vocabulary book for the N4 level of the JLPT Japanese language exam. Um, I wanted to go show it to you mainly because I've been using it recently. I've been trying to improve my vocabulary and because I'd been using about it, I had some thoughts on it and I thought, you know, making a video on that might possibly be useful to someone somewhere out there <laughs> um, who they themselves might be looking for a vocabulary book. Now, that was the plan. <laughs> then I saw the trailer for the new uh, Game of Thrones series, House of the Dragon, that came out. And then I got really hyped about Game of Thrones and A Song of Ice and Fire and all that sort of jazz. And then I really wanted to talk about that just in any capacity. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, I've decided to change today's book. Um, so we're going to be talking about the first Game of Thrones book, but it's going to be the Japanese version. <laughs> now, I'm nowhere near the level in which I need to be to sit down and read Game of Thrones in Japanese. It's, it's not going to be happening anytime soon. But I still have it, I still own it, <laughs> because I'm a nerd. I actually got the these books, I'm holding two books, but it is the one. So this, this is the first book in the series, and it, this is this this they these are the same I got these ones when I was on my when I was on um, a holiday to Japan a few years ago I think I got them on like the, f the first day of the holiday because the first thing I went and did was go to a bookshop because of course that's what I did <laughs> I got them in Osaka in um, one of the book offs there uh, if you don't know book off it's basically a secondhand shop right and you so if you if you're in going to Japan and you want to pick up some Japanese manga or books um, definitely try book off because they will they have that they'll probably have something that you would like especially for the manga just go in just there was just loads of manga when I went in there and had a look around and they are all for very good it's a secondhand shop so they're all very good prices very good prices. Example, I'm a big fan of Fullmetal Alchemist and while I was there I wanted to pick up the first volume in Japanese. And yeah, this is a much, much older series that's, you know, you could probably very easily get. So the first volume I picked it up and they were selling it for um, 108 yen, which is less than a pound. So that was great. <laughs> that was, <laughs> this, this immediately went into my shopping basket. Anyway, back to Game of Thrones. Now I'm going to, I want to give you a good look at these books so I'm probably going to switch camera angles so that you can, you can see better, uh, have a good old nosy uh, and because even though I'm not at a level where I can just sit down and read them, uh, it would probably take me forever just to get through one page, <laughs> um, there were a few, a few things that I would quite like to show you that I think are quite interesting and they made me happy and I liked looking through it and noticing these things. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. I hope you guys can see this well. Let's see. There we go. It's a bit, you're a bit wonky, but yeah, you're gonna have to do. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so the first thing uh, you, that is a very obvious difference is the covers. When I first uh, when I first bought this, this was 
I think I'd seen the older cover and then this one and I, I remember thinking oh this is a nice new improved one yeah this is a really nice really lovely cover and then I saw this and I was like get this out of here get out go away no one wants you around anymore <laughs> because this is just so cool this is just this is great I absolutely love it um I think pretty sure this is meant to be the character of uh, Jon Snow. Then this is the first part. As I showed you earlier, there's uh, the books are split into two, and this one is uh, part one. I think when the books are split into parts, uh, they'll have something to indicate in kanji, which made it very difficult for me to realise what it meant. But this is the first part. Up. That means up. I don't, I, I don't know why one day I will, but for now I must live in confusion. This is part two, indicated by the kanji for down. Up and down. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this I think is meant to be Daenerys. Uh, the dragon lady, because she's got a dragon there. That's just so cool. That's just so, so cool. How are, the, how are these... How is this not amazing? Down below in the description, I am going to link... Uh, a link have a and I have an Amazon link but it's just because I want to show you what the the other covers for the books uh, for the later books look like so if you want to know what those covers look like just go to that link and just have a little browse because some of them are so beautiful they really really are that's the name of the author and you've got the name of the series which is again literally ice and fire's song a song of ice and fire and you also have the big letters which is Game of Thrones but I think it's more literally the, the Throne of the Seven Kingdoms, which is still a cool title. <laughs> but yeah, I just, the covers, this cover is so good and it makes this one seem kind of dull and boring really, I think. Sorry, sorry English one. I love you because that's how I know the story, but yeah. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to show you was uh, on the inside. So like a lot of fantasy novels, uh, here the English one we can see, we have a map, yeah, love a good fantasy map. <laughs> and yeah, and I was very happy to see that they also kept this in for the Japanese version, if I can get to it. Go on, you can do it with one hand, go on, go on Reen, you can do it. No I can't, yes I can, yeah, okay. Yeah, so here we go. Here's the map in Japanese, and which I loved. It's all been translated into Japanese, of course. And I would have assumed that it would have all been written in katakana, so it just phonetically spelling out what it says in the English one. And while there is a lot of that, there's also clearly they've given it kanji meanings, which... Oh, which is great, which I'm gonna, once I get much more advanced with my kanji, I am going to be staring at this map for a long time, trying to be like, oh, what kanji did they give it? Is it just a direct translation? Could you put other meanings in there? Yeah, it's just, it's just wonderful. <laughs> I have noticed that the, like, the drawings of the two are ever so slightly different, and I don't know for which, but I was wondering if it's a, maybe this one is an, an older, a drawing of the map and then this English one is just like an updated version that they did or whether they did redraw it slightly for the Japanese one maybe to so that they could have a little bit more leeway with putting in the Japanese maybe I don't know that's just my assumptions but I think it would be very interesting to find out one way or the other you know yeah it's pretty cool another thing that both books also have or at least they kept for uh, the Japanese version is that at the back now there are a lot of characters in Game of Thrones and it can be very confusing but at the back in the English one they have literally like oh this is House Stark and all of their characters and this is House Lannister and all of their characters and you just have a massive cast list of who everyone is so that when you do come across like your fifth person named John you're like yeah, okay, which one is that meant to be again? And I was very happy to see that they kept that in the Japanese version too. Ta da! But yeah, you have like, uh, that's gotta be the Targaryens in it. Uh, 
it's got to be the Tullys I reckon but yeah and again same sort of thing it just tells you who the massive cast of characters is one thing that I noticed for the Japanese version which the English one doesn't have is this on the inside of the front cover there's like a little cheat sheet here for the very very main cast of characters and uh, just gives you a very very quick reference rather than searching in the back I guess you just open this and just tells you who the main people are which I think is very handy though one thing I did notice um, so anyone who does know anything about the Game of Thrones stories you know the character Jon Snow I think even people who haven't watched or read the, the show or books like have heard of Jon Snow by now but yeah they name him in the only only in this little cheat sheet here they name him as John Stark and I was like wait what do they change his name but but then how do they why why what, what's what's going on and I did have a look through the book and they do call him Jon Snow I've only been able to find it so far as John Stark in this front bit and again I don't know why was there a logical reason behind it was it just a mistake I don't know but I would like to know one day one day I will know probably maybe I don't know these two books make up the first book in the Song of Ice and Fire series known as Game of Thrones um, I really really love having this as part of my collection <laughs> again even when I was buying it I knew that it's gonna be so long so many years down the line before I'm even ready to start reading this and even then I'm probably gonna be needing my dictionary beside me and you know <laughs> so I can check up stuff but I just really loved I love I love this series anyway and I love Japanese so having something that is both of those things at the same time really really made me really really made me happy um, yeah and I wanted to show it to you so yes I just wanted to show off uh, the Japanese version of Game of Thrones um, if you haven't seen it before I hope you enjoyed having a nosy at it especially a look at those kick-ass covers <laughs> um, but yeah there's uh, I love reading and I love Japanese and just being able to combine those two into like series that I really really love is just is my favorite thing I think that's why like I bought that Full Metal Alchemist manga I love Full Metal Alchemist love Japanese all together in one lovely <laughs> uh, yeah I have a couple more like that as well um, but I'll save those for another day <laughs> thank you very much for listening to me Nataron about these books I love them I'm looking forward to the House of Dragon thing that's gonna come out next year I think yeah I think beforehand uh, before that trailer came out if you had said like oh you know that, that show that's coming out do you want to see it and I'd be like yeah 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 maybe I'll give it a look but then seeing the trailer and then I just was like oh yeah wait when exactly is this set and then I found myself googling it and getting the books out and then yeah I just I just started uh, started feeling that hype for uh, not just the show but for that story that world that I, I really love Okay, I will finally stop nattering on about these books. Um, I will hopefully see you in the next video, but for now, may your grammar be structured and your vocabulary varied. Bye!